I'm going to talk about ASTAR search. So what is ASTAR search? It's a combination of greedy search and uniform cost search. So greedy search minimizes the estimated costs to a goal. That's H of n. So for example, the straight line distance from one city to the next. Uniform cost search, on the other hand, minimizes the cost of the path so far. So it's G of n. So we can't always get from one city to the next through a straight line. You know, if we want to go from Atlanta to New York, we might go from Atlanta to Charlotte to Washington to New York. Another version might be Atlanta, Raleigh, Washington, New York. So those have two different paths associated with them. So G of N is our path cost. H of N is a heuristic that tells us the cost to, to the goal. So the cost of the goal is whatever the straight line distance is. If you did the Pythagorean theorem, you found the diagonal line from Atlanta to New York. That is the cost to reach the goal. However, there's multiple paths we could take to travel to that city. So G of N gives the path cost from the start node to n, and h of n is the estimated cost of the cheapest path from the goal. All right, so we can combine both of these um, two uh, concepts together, and we get the estimated cost of the cheapest solution through n. So we add the path cost, and we add the cost to the goal together and we get the estimated cost of the cheapest solution. We know we'll never overestimate um, the cost to reach the goal um, because this uh, has the straight line, this has a H of N, which is the estimated cost to the goal. So here's some pseudocode. This is what it looks like. So we can use best first search, which will take an evaluation function and a problem. So here our evaluation function is the path cost and the cost of the goal added together. That's our evaluation function. That's how we're going to order these things. And then here's our problem, which contains the state space, the set of all of the nodes, you know, for example, for a map, I like to think about this um, with cities. Okay, so here's best first search. So we know that we're going to pass in g plus h for the evaluation function and then this queuing function could be a priority queue that would order the nodes by the evaluation function and then we pass uh, these parameters into general search so this queuing function is the thing that's going to sort our nodes um, by their estimated cost to the goal so here's general search so that queuing function this again you know could be broken down where you have a priority queue that, that sorts these things. You need to make a queue and those be, that queue will have our all of our nodes and it has to have the initial state of the problem, the initial starting point. So for example, uh, the one that we we're talking about with Atlanta, that would be our initial point. And then we have a frontier which connects Atlanta to all the cities to our end goal, which is New York. So if the nodes are empty, then return failure. Otherwise, remove the front from the nodes, whatever is pushed to the front of the queue. Remember, this is an ordered queue. So if we actually reach the goal, um, then return the node. Otherwise, can we continue uh, looping through the queue to find the, uh, the goal? So um, that's where we would expand our node. We're talking about different cities. so. This is an example of a map of Romania. I got this from a textbook about artificial intelligence. And uh, so in that problem, you're asked to figure out the, the cheapest path, the cheapest cost to get from ARAD to Bucharest. So what we have here is a straight line distance to Bucharest. So each one of these has an H, which is the straight line distance. If you took a diagonal line, this is how far this would be. And then there's a path connecting all these cities. So the path cost would be the sum of 75, 71, 151, 99, 211. 
that would give you the path cost to Bucharest. And so what we do is we start with the heuristic of the straight line distance, which in this case is 366. And then we figure out which of these has the cheapest path. So we start with the initial state, ARAB, and the total path cost at this point is zero. Straight line distance is 366 is the cost to the goal. This is the path cost. Then we expand the nodes around ARAD, CBU, Timisora, Zorind. So CBU, Timisora, Zorind. Zorind has a path of path cost of 75. CBU has a path cost of 140. Timisora has a path cost of 118. So we can see 140, 118, 75. We add that to their straight line distance from Bucharest. And then based on that, we'll expand to the cheapest node. In this case, it's CBU. 393 is less than 447, which is less than 449. So this is the minimum here. So we go to CBU. Repeat that process again. And we move on to Rimini. Uh, if anyone actually knows that would you know this, it'd be great if they could tell me. But I call it Rimini Vasilia. Rimini Vasilia, whatever. So we got 415, very close, but RV wins here. So it goes to RV, and then we continue going down. Hope you enjoyed this video on A-Star Search. Thank you for watching.